you know, it's funny too, because you hear Sean O'Malley mention uh, Volkanovsky's, or not Volkanovsky, uh, Ilya's name and wants to fight him. But you can't deny Marab anymore after the performance he had against Cejudo. And this is a good chance to segue into that. So in the first round, things kind of played out how I thought they might. Like I kind of thought that Cejudo was going to be able to stuff some of the takedowns and get off on the striking just because I thought he was cleaner. But to wear Cejudo down the way Marab did and take over in the second and third and then be taking him down at will, carrying him across the octagon. I saw a funny tweet that said, like, this is the equivalent of getting dunked on. Carrying Cejudo across the octagon and slamming him. Again, the age thing coming into play here. But I think that Marab's pressure is fucking legendary. Like, you, he wore Cejudo down, and you could see, like, Regardless of the great first round, I mean, Cejudo hurt Marab in that first round. And regardless of the first round that he had, he couldn't maintain that consistency. And when he started to fade just a little bit, Marab just pounced. And the consistency and just stuck with the game plan again and ran through Cejudo. Like Cejudo couldn't keep up the level of output that he needed to keep Marab off him. And that's what it boiled down to. And Marab just wears through people. And if you're Sean O'Malley... It's hard probably to not look at that fight and watch that fight and start thinking ahead a little bit, right? Because you got Cheeto Vera coming up, but in Sean O'Malley's mind, like both of these guys have got to know that this guy's waiting in the wings and that this is what you got to get ready for. Like I said, Ilya just won the belt at featherweight. I think he has to defend at featherweight. I think O'Malley has to successfully defend against Cheeto. And Marab has made too much of a statement for him to just hop off into another division, right? So I think... Again, it's a business though. Like at the end of the day, if O'Malley and Ilya want to fight and it's going to make a ton of money and they both win, like let's say their next fight, I don't fucking know. Or let's say Sean wins in spectacular fashion. The industry is going to do what makes the money, but I think that Marab, Sean's got to defend against Marab because I also feel like Sean O'Malley got to kind of cherry pick his first title defense. Most guys, a lot of guys don't get to do that. I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to say most, but like a lot of guys don't get to do that. And he, it seems like if he was fighting the true contender, he would be fighting Sandhagen or Marab at this point. But instead he's fighting Cheeto Vera, right? Who's ranked number six right now. And basically avenging a loss early in his career. And that kind of allowed Cheeto to shortcut the line. I got no problem with it. Like I said, it's whatever makes money. He's calling the shots, but I think before you go off to another division to fight a guy like Ilya, you got to you gotta defend against Marab and prove that Marab's not the guy who maybe should be moving up and fighting. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't, it, it's not, a, it's what Marab has accomplished. It's about not denying him his right and his chance at stardom and his chance to make these things happen. And again, if you're O'Malley, you probably don't want to navigate it that way. You probably do want to go start fucking Cheeto and then be like, let's fucking do me and Ilya in Spain. And you make that statement, especially if he finishes, uh, especially if he finishes Cheeto definitively, like that's the push he might end up making. And I'm not saying it should, it's, if you're, I don't know. I feel like personally they should stick within their divisions and build the super fight. But the timing, the timing thing, it, it might be ripe. I don't know. I don't know. 